from beautiful northern New Hampshire, we got the best lumberjacks in North America, chopping, sawing, axoing. Are you ready for another bullseye on lumberjacks? Lumberjacks is sponsored by Echo, professional quality, ask any pro. Crown, protect, maintain, save. Bodog, be a player. Red Pine Wilderness Lodge, simply unreal fishing. We're in Dixville Notch, New Hampshire, the Grand Balsams Resort Wilderness and Ski Area, Ski Hill in the wintertime, Lumberjack Sports Staging in the summertime, second annual event with my co-host Rod Cumberland, Lumberjack Sport Analyst. And Rod, we got a fantastic field of competitor for only a second annual event. That's right, 70 competitors strong. We've got Mel Lentz from West Virginia, the Colgers, J.P. Merger, Donald Lambert, the best that Canada has to offer, all here competing for prize money. Now this week we got something special with the axe throw going on. What's that? Oh. The guy or the gal that wins first place in the axe throw are going to walk away with $1,000 cash. And we're also covering the relay race, something a little bit different. Guys working together, mano a mano on teams, chopping and sawing. Oh well, yeah, but uh, lots of chopping and sawing. Very exciting, very thrilling. So sit back and watch the best in Northeast going head to head. Now we got a leaderboard heading into the last four events of the competition here at Dixville Notch, New Hampshire, hosted by the Balsams Grand Resort at their ski area, actually. Gaston DuPerry right now leading the way with a great field of competitors on his heels as we head into the modified saw, the open, uh, the modified saw with the pipe that they have the extension pipes on these uh, modified stock engines. That's right, hard to keep it all straight because there's four different saw events here at this, plus the obstacle pull buck. So there's all kinds of chainsaw events here. Some you have the small small pipes, some you have the big pipes. This one here is a modified saw with a big pipe. Three cuts of six inches through 14 inches round of white pine. Tim Keats taking on Paul Woodland. Paul Woodland, the crafty veteran, looks like he's gonna win this heat with a time of 5.43. Paul's always a tough cat to beat. Paul is one of the best in the business. He's from New Brunswick, of course, a good buddy of mine. I've competed against him now for over 20 years. He's flawless in the saw events. You see him here running a saw he's not too familiar with, but he makes three beautiful cuts, and he's got a good time. No, not only do you have to have a good engine that's going to start, and the saw is going to be starting on time, you got to get to the wood, but you got to relax as well and just do your job. That's right. Lots can go wrong. Now, here's a guy I haven't seen in a while. Leo Lassard used to come down to Freiburg, Maine years ago. He used to pull out his, uh, his big four-cycle uh, engine, big four-cylinder engine, on a little baby cart. So uh, he used to have a big harness he used to get strapped into. Leo knows how to run the saws here, but you need to see him cut. I haven't seen him uh, saw in a while. Taking on Mike Slingerland. Mike Slingerland takes him to school on that one with a 6.11. Actually only beating Leo by eight one hundredths of a second. Not quite taking on the time of 5.43 set by Paul Woodland. Big thick cuts there. He's lucky to get three within six inches. Yeah, you're right. Mike, obviously, uh, not really great at the chainsaw events. He does have a few saws to run. Obviously, to be an overall lumberjack champion, you've got to be good at all events. Well, Herb Gingras and Donald Lambert are up next in heat number three. Herb is the brother of Jerry, the guy who's running the show. Donald Lambert, one of those French Canadians, always good at sawing. Shit, well, and the Gingras family in general are excellent sawyers. Right, very good. Both Herb and Jerry love the saw events. They've got all kinds of saws in the back end of their trucks. Oh, look at Donald's saw. He couldn't get it going, but he's got it going now trying to play catch up. Even Herb, he's bobbled on his first cut. Herb bobbled on his second cut. He gets off ahead of Donald Lambert, but he bobbled out on two different cuts there. Just barely. Look at Donald Saw not starting on the full, you know, going to be out of the game by that point. But he tries to play a little bit of catch up and he goes flawless with a good running saw at this point. But then right at the end when he's ready to catch Herb, he stalls it out or just bogs it down a little bit right there. And that's, that's the saw events. All these little things all add up. Of course, when you're talking four or five seconds for the winning time, all those little baubles are going to cost you. Yeah, so Donald comes in with a 7.93. Herb Gingras comes with a 7.66. Still, the time to beat. Paul Wooden from Benton, New Brunswick, in the first heat. Here comes Bertrand and a buddy of yours, Vince. Yeah, actually, Vince is just, I met him in the great Northern Maine Fair here just a few weeks ago. Really great guy. Oh, he had a tough luck there at that cut. Okay, so Vince, yeah, we had you pick for uh, place well in the modified saw, and I see you had a little bit of trouble. You want to explain what happened? Yeah, what happened there was um, the saw was fine when I picked it up off the ground. The diameter of the wood uh, it doesn't give you a lot of room for error. And uh, when the saw started in the wood, it was fine. The first cut was uh, fine. 
the up cut was fine. And when I got onto the third cut, I didn't ha have the saw set over quite far enough. On the top of the wood, it was fine. If you look in the replay, you can see there that the uh, probably about halfway through the block, the bar came through. And the chain is just so aggressive, you have to have a good half inch of wood left for the block to stay solid. Um, so it actually ended up just blowing out the bottom end of the wood. So that's just the way it goes. You got to uh, take the good days with the bad days. Okay, well, good buddy, Paul Woodland from Benton, New Brunswick, still leading the way there, Rod, with 5.432 heats to go. We've got Mercy and Gasser, followed by Gingras and Duperry. Is it going to hold up the 5.43? Uh, four guys left to come are world-class Sawyers, as we've seen many times in the past. Here they are here, J.P. Mercy making a great, whoa, look at that, three fast cuts. Holy moly, Mercy making quick work of that one with a 4.43. He just shaved a full second off Paul Woodland's time. That's amazing. And getting to the wood, my goodness, he gets to the wood so quickly, keeps it in the wood, and the turnovers are the key here. He doesn't spend any time with his saw bar out of the wood. That's right, always interesting to watch guys like that. World-class competitors stepping up in an event, getting points that you typically wouldn't expect J.P. to grab. I mean, when you get a 4-4-3 like that, uh, shaving a full second off a guy's time, it's unbelievable. So the, the time to beat is still Simone Bertrand a couple of heats ago with a 4.10. Last heat, Gaston taking on Jerry Gingras right here. Gingras quick to the wood. Holy cow, is that fast. 4.44 for Jerry Gingras in this. And look at the look, look at that stabilizer bar he's got holding that saw there. That's right. And obviously that gets you up another extra six inches towards the wood. Gives you that much quicker to get to the wood. Jerry just makes a flawless cut here overall. Now, I was talking to you before your heat, and you said there's a lot of good guys here in this uh, pipe modified saw. How come you're the best? Because I'm the best. No, I uh, just put a lot of hour in research and development, and Sebastian has been filing many chain, and I guess I had the best combination today. I mean, it was very, very close. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what your time was, but uh, getting to the wood, keeping your saw in the wood, those are all the keys to success? Exactly. First. Start the, start the chainsaw with the first pull, then keeping up with the chainsaw in the cut. That's the major way to win. Merci beaucoup. A lot of guys in this field today can modify the saw. Simone Bertrand was the best of the lot, winning by 33 one hundredths of a second.